Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2 and today I'm making a card for Through the Craft Room Doors Design Team card and uh, today I'm using a sponsored image from Paola Joffrey. Hopefully I'm saying this correctly and if I'm uh, saying it wrong, I'm really sorry. And this is the image that I'm going to use. This is a digital image. And I printed this out on watercolor paper, as you can see right here. And I already fussy cut them out. And I have some things pre-prepped here. Um, I cut this using the MFT's uh, new stitch. Uh, I believe it's a cross stitch or something. So, um, and then I have a couple pieces of design paper cut using the Mama Elephant's Femme Frame die. So what I did for the popsicle sticks is I cut it out and I used a chipboard. I attached it to the chipboard and then cut it out so that um, it can be a popsicle stick uh, for the two ice cream bars. So I'll be using my Gonzai Tombi watercolor today because I'll, I'll be watercoloring these ice cream bars and the ice cream scoop. They look delicious, don't they? <laughs> so I'm going to choose out some colors that I want to use. What's good about this Gonzai Tombi is that you can take them out so you don't have to have the whole palette next to you. So you can just take out uh, only the ones that you want to use. So this is a color palette that I chose. I'm going to start with the uh, ice cream cone. I'm putting a little bit of water on each of them, but you know it doesn't. You don't really need a whole lot of water for these uh, paints to liquefy because they're kind of like a paste. Here, I put too much water, so I'm dabbing it off and then um, putting some more on the ice cream coat. And this is my first layer. And then I'm going to do the top of the ice cream. I want that make. I want to make that look like a chocolate fudge. So I'm using a really dark brown here. Some places I may go over it twice to give uh, more shadow. And so I'm working on the popsicle stick now. This is kind of like terracotta color, and I'm just coloring uh, the stick. Uh, I'm making the right side a little bit darker for all of these and I'm going to put that off to the side. So as you can see I'll be like skipping back and forth and that's because um, I don't want to uh, color the other part right next to it until it dries otherwise the colors are going to run to each other and I don't want to make mud. So here I'm adding a little bit of terracotta to the cone. To make it look more realistic. This is a very fun image that you could use um, all the time. I really love it. It's super cute. It looks so yummy like you just want to eat it. <laughs> so here I'm using this um, aqua teal color here. And as you can see, again, I'm making the left side a little darker. Did I say right side earlier? It's, um, I'm making the left side a little darker. Sorry about that. And then again, I'm using the same for the bottom of the popsicle. And then I'm going to use purple for this top. Kind of like it's going to be um, different uh, rainbow um, ice cream bar. <laughs> so for the ice cream cone, I'm going to color that dark pink, but I'm going to water it down quite a bit because I want it to kind of make it look like it's a strawberry ice cream cone. My daughter's favorite flavor is a strawberry. So I thought I would make this look like strawberry. 
strawberry ice cream that is. As you can see, I'm going over some areas um, or lightening it up. Putting a little bit more color. For the yellow, I didn't um, go back with it because it was already really bright yellow. I love these fun colors. Going back um, to the ice cream scoop here, making it a little bit more darker. So now that I have everything ready, I'm um, letting it dry. Here I'm putting some color on this um, rectangle piece. I'm using cracked pistachio and I just want to color the edges so that those stitch lines will show up better. And then um, I was going to put glossy accents on the ice creams, but I changed my mind. But before that, I'm going to um, use a sentiment. This says, so sweet, you're so sweet. And um, I stamped it with the verse mark and then I'm embossing it with the clear embossing powder. That's a Stampin' Up stamp set. I think it's retired. I'm not quite sure. And now this is where um, I decide that I want to emboss all of these ice creams using this is an ultra high clear embossing powder. And so you see me dip, my Versamark is open, but you see me dip it somewhere else. That's because these colors were not quite dry. So I'm, I have um, another Versamark that's kind of like yucky. You know, because I, it's of uh, use, overuse. So I'm using that instead because the colors are rubbing off. And I want to keep at least one clean. <laughs> and then I'm embossing it with the ultra thick, alt, I think it's ultra high, clear embossing powder by WOW. And I'm embossing these twice. So it gives a really uh, thick dimension, and on top of that, there's really um, nice gloss to it, as you can see. So I like that a lot better. So I put everything together here. So I'm kind of debating on how I want to put the ice creams. They look really shiny and yummy. So there you can see the shine. So the uh, embossing powder is another way to put uh, more dimension on your projects. Here I'm um, putting some sequins. This is a Pretty Pink Posh sequence, sparkling clear. I have them in a couple sizes. I'm kind of debating where I want to put the um, sequins. And I'm using a multimedia mat here. I just only squeeze out a little bit because you only need a little. And once these are dry, they're stuck on there. So this finishes off my card for today. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll put all the descriptions uh, in the link below for the magazine and the Through the Craft Room Door site. So you can get more information. Thank you so much. Bye.